Hi guys, it's Ray, and although this is there's already a video on my channel for today, uh, this is a book haul because I've not done one of these in a while, and I have books that I've bought recently and that I haven't shown you, and that have have brought me much excitement. So it's like I kind of need to show you because it's it's rude otherwise. Uh, but yeah, I I because I don't know when the last time I did a book haul is. I genuinely can't remember, and I don't know what books I have and haven't shown in between those. Shush, sirens! God, so rude. <sighs> um, so it's like I'm just gonna show you. That. Yes, boy. If yes, I shall come and look at that. I mean, um, like so I'm just gonna show you the ones that I got from the last sort of few weeks. And it's mostly just very, 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 very awesome stuff that makes me very, very happy. And it's just, yeah. Uh, basically, one thing that I don't have, I've actually not mentioned on this channel is that I have a job in Waterstones at the moment. I, I am, I, I got one of the sort of Christmas uh, vacancies, and I, I work in two different stores in, 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 in Derbyshire, uh, which is, which is excellent. And it means I'm surrounded by books for like. A good like 12 hours a week this weekend I'm like Saturday and Sunday it's going to be fun um, but, I mean I've people keep asking me like have you have you bought loads of books I was like no I've actually only bought three thank you so rude to assume that I have no self-control at all it's just but yes three of these I bought from work and one has, has more of an interesting story uh, than uh, than you might think. But the first one that I'm going to show you is one that I bought um, af after work because it was uh, one of our sort of it was one of the like the kind of books that we were that was being displayed quite prominently because uh, one of our uh, books of the month was um, Chris Riddell's Goth Girl, like the, um, the, his newest the newest one in the Goth Girl. Um, series and so we were displaying this other one next to it because it has also been il illustrated by Chris Riddell and it has also been newly released and it is by one of the most sort of well-known kind of fantasy magical realism authors like ever and that is Sleeper in the Spindle by Neil Gaiman and it's like this is just so beautiful it is just absolutely glorious and I, I read it um, sometime last week or the week before and I basically deliberately took as long as I could to read it because it's not a long it's not a long book by any any stretch of the imagination it doesn't mean what like it's about 65 pages long that's that's about half an hour's reading for me and it's just but it's so glorious I mean they've got this kind of frosted um, like tracing paper almost cover uh, and then, and then it's got the sort of the sleeper um, on the front and that on the back, and it's just so beautiful. Like, I mean, just look at, just look at that. Maps. I love me maps, and I love me end paper maps. Yeah, gotta love that. And there's just like bits, sort of splashes of like gold throughout it as well like just like in the borders and the sort of uh, dwarves hats and it's just so intricate like all the illustrations it's just, look at that it's just and it was really interesting stories because I'd heard bits about it already they were like ooh um, but there was like it's there's, there was more in it than I expected and it was just just a beautiful beautifully concise kind of fairy tale that just and you just sort of staring at the pages just trying to see more and more in the illustrations and it's just it's just just buy it for crying out loud buy it already god oh. yeah and um, the next two that I bought um was when I was working at the other uh, waterstones um one I was um, <laughs> When I was collecting some customer orders and stuff, I realised in the in the back that there was a bag in there with my name on it. I'm like, what? What is this? This has got my name on it. And then looked and go, oh, oh, okay. Didn't expect this. Um, but basically, at the start of September, around the second of September, actually, at about like twenty five past five, on like a whatever day it was, I can't remember what day it was. I went sprinting into the Derby Waterstones just before they closed, going. 
I know what I want, it's upstairs, I need to go get it. And then I got up there, looked at the half price tables, because that's the why we got half price tables, because that's where it would be, since it was just newly out. And it wasn't there. And I'm like, what? So I kind of asked one of the stuff, going, Air Fire, Sarah J. Mass, where is it? It's supposed to be out today. And they're looking, they're like, yeah, it's not out till the 11th. I'm like, what? Fucking what? Damn it! I mixed up the US and the UK uh, release dates. What the fuck? Uh, well basically, they at that point, um, they kind of I sort of asked like, can you let me know when it when it when it gets in stock so I can come and get it, and so like yeah yeah that's fine. I didn't realise at that time that they'd actually sort of kind of put a customer order on for me, which I I now that I know how their system works, I can sort of I know what they did. Um, but it's like at that point I got a text like a sort of a week or so later saying your orders arrived and it's like well I'm placing an order I'm just okay that means the books and I'll just go get the book and I went upstairs and just bought one off the tables um, I didn't actually go to the the downstairs till and ask sort of you've got a book for me because I because then they would have gone into the back and retrieved what I found <laughs> just the other week that has been sat there for like a month, like two months, that nobody's kind of like tried to sort of go, hey, are you coming for this? Um, and so I, 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 I got out there and I looked, I looked at her and um, told one of the other characters, goes, this is actually for me. <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> and yeah, so the book, I just asked to be let know when the, when Air of Fire came in stock. What they did, what they did uh, was uh, put aside a copy that was signed by Sarah J. Mass, and not only this, this this book, this actual individual book, is a crazy, crazy thing. Because when I tried to put this on my library thing catalog with the ISBN, library thing was like, "What? I don't, I don't recognize what you're trying to do. I don't know what you're doing." And it was like, because they get their ISBN ISBN data from Amazon, and Amazon's like, "I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know this book." And it's like, "I have another one in my catalog." It's the exact same book. What are you doing? Turns out, these I should show you the signature also. <laughs> these signed copies of set, um, of Air, Air of Fire actually have their own special ISBN. There is a separate must have been a separate ISBN run of these signed copies that is exclusive to Waterstones. Waterstones dot com recognizes this ISBN. Amazon doesn't. <laughs> So it was just, oh my god! But this doesn't actually have the um, the extra short story in. This doesn't have the um, Selena and Nehemia uh, short story like the other volume was. I was going to give my other edition away, and then I remember this and going, "Fuck! I can't do that. This hasn't got an end. I'm just going to have both." This is fine. <laughs> but yeah, after like two months of not knowing this was mine, this is now mine. It is signed. This is awesome. I am happy. And that story took way too long, and I'm sorry. Uh, but the other book that I bought uh, that day at work uh, was one, basically, I was I was um, put shelving some books upstairs, and kind of, I, when I was actually not, I was, trying, no, I was trying to find some books. I was trying to, I was gathering some of these massive, like, thousand, you know, this thousand and one things you should do, blah, blah, blah. We have a whole table of those, and I was collecting them, some of the ones upstairs. Like, do excuse me. <laughs> 